So since you fell, I'm gonna open you. I think. Oh, oh no! Oh, <laughs> that's a bit of a random. A Pippa body with um, I don't know what that is. Somebody's head stuck on, and she's missing an arm. So anyway, that is a Pippa dress. So um, yes, I, I think that was a pencil topper head. Bless her. Look, oh, bless her. Waiting for her prince charming. Okay, so that's a random. Oops, a daisy. Don't put me there. Now I'm going to this one. What's in here? Ah, oh, look who we have. We have Skipper. Skipper. Now, Skipper wasn't available in England. It felt like for the longest time. She'd be in all the catalogues that I've just shown, and oh, I knew about Skipper. And bear in mind, we had no internet, nothing like that. It was all about the catalogues and the leaflets. Anyway, one day, uh, my older sister, who's two years older, got to go on a day trip to France to Boulogne or Calais, one of those places. And she brought back this skipper and I thought I'd died and gone to heaven. The French had skipper before we did. But anyway, anyway, it was magical. I couldn't believe it when she came back. Must have been 10 or 11 o'clock at night. God bless her, the age of 15 or 16. Yeah, it's a skipper. So she must have been one of the first people in the country to bring back a skipper. I don't know, it could be wrong, but I literally could not find them in any shops in the shop. So I believe that's her original outfit, isn't she beautiful? Now I like this original older style skipper better than the new style. But I'm a bit old school when it comes to brass. Isn't she beautiful? She's quite tanned. She's quite tanned. Yay, I haven't seen you for a long time. Right, oh, we've got lots more. Here we are, who's this? Oh, it's Cindy. Most definitely not her original outfit. Another one I made, I made quite a lot of these dresses, which I've got a lot over actually. I might put them upside in my shop. I have an Etsy shop, by the way, Miss Susanna Studio and Verity Hope, I sell, I sell doll kits. But anyway, there we go, this is a Cindy doll. Now, she's got beautiful conditioned hair, look at that. She's in lovely condition. Uh, I was so much into Barbie, I, I sort of didn't give Cindy enough time of day. I had some, I, I liked them, but I didn't play with Cindy nearly as much as Barbie. She just, she had a chunkier body, which now I appreciate, and I think her body, molding and shape is really really nice but I guess I was kind of sucked into that ultra bland look of Barbie and uh, compared to that Cindy was just a bit of a she seemed a bit frumpy feet were flat but she's beautiful today I really really appreciate her today there you go I don't know which Cindy that is really uh, okay, let's go for a little dolly. Um, oh, she's a later arrival. Madeline. So I got her off the internet. Madeline. Um, she came in a little set. She's not the commoner, more common Madeline dolls that you find. She has a different face mold, and I liked this face mold better. I think she's more in line with the illustrations of Madeline. She's really, really sweet. Ah, really sweet, look at her. Okay. Um, okay, this dress, let's just say, this is a uh, Tonna. It's, um, oh, I'm having a brain frog day. What's her name? Tyler Wentworth. Is it? No, no, this is the reimagination dress. This is a reimagination dress and I put her, I put it on my Tyler Wentworth. So somewhere is Tyler Wentworth. Um, yeah, I don't know where Tyler Wentworth went. Mm, there we go. That's a nice dress. Okay, another, another Toy Story doll with a 
another similar outfit that comes from this. I showed you one like that earlier. I'm just trying to think where my Tyler went. Where's his now? Surely I didn't sell her in the winter. They don't make Tyler anymore, do they? Oh, now I really want to Tyler Wentworth. No, she must be somewhere. Oh, look, Tammy. Now, Tammy was an internet find, because again, I don't personally remember much of Tammy in the 70s in England. Was she, you know, this is where I'm not really, was she available in England or was she more American? Was she American? Here is Tammy. Tammy's lovely though. Tammy's very, very like Cindy more like Cindy and I think Cindy was based on Tammy or Tammy and Cindy. Again she's even chunkier but she's more plasticky. This is another outfit that I knew from Tammy. I was thinking of um, getting another dress on. Let me just see I've got it here. I'm just going to put it in a more of a more of a kind of blue here in the comment. See I'm going to have to work the weekend. Anyway there's Tammy. I'm going to keep you up plans for Tammy. Um, let's see, now, I think we've got some pippers coming up. Yes, there's a pipper. Now I can't remember the individual names of the pippers, I just know that they're pippers, so here's one. Beautiful glossy hair, look at her. Um, she has one of the prettiest faces. Beautiful. She, I think Pippa is one of the nicest dolls that was ever created. They were so well made. And again, she's got um, she's got the articulated legs, and they'd always come sitting in the box, wouldn't they? They'd be up like that, and then they'd be sitting, looking out. It was a really, really good, well-designed box. There you go. So I wouldn't marry her too much. There you go. That's Oh, I'm going to keep the ones I've opened there. Another pepper. Lots of peppers coming up. Here we go. Here is the one I was talking about. She called Tammy. Is this one called Tammy? I think this is Tammy. Very similar to the dark haired one. Beautiful face. She looked kind of. I always thought she was Irish. I didn't call her Irish at all. But beautiful auburn hair and green eyes. And this is her original outfit as well. A sort of a bomber jacket. And it's kind of an all-in-one jumpsuit thing. I mean, to make these must have been a nightmare. I mean, the size, the smaller the doll clothes, the more fiddly they are to make them. Look at the fit they are. Just beautiful. They literally are like miniature versions of Barbie. Without being over over designed you know all the, the features are all um, in proportion unlike as I say these modern dolls are all out of proportion huge eyes big thick lips but these are just beautiful and delicate so okay then. Okay, this is Princess Pippa, isn't it? Because Princess Pippa had all the long hair, extra long hair. And then my Princess Pippa here, I don't know, her makeup sort of just came off a bit and her, she lost some of her, yeah, some of her rooting there. I don't quite know what happened there. So she always looked a bit more like a Cinderella princess rather than a princess princess to me. But this is her original dress. It's a kind of sparkly, sparkly thing. Um, I don't know if this originally belonged to her. I have a feeling she must have just been like that. And but she had the most lovely, lovely hair. It was beautiful, beautiful. Yes, because I remember we all brought our Princess Pippas to school and a few other people had Princess Pippas um, and theirs, their makeup was much uh, brighter. And do you remember, um, some people used to um, put pins in the ears of Pippas. So you know the pins that you get with the balls on the end? They, they cut them off and then they'd stick them into the Pippa's ears and make earrings for them. Which probably highly dangerous. Anyway, we all survived the 70s. 